Hey y'all, I wanted to hop on here and talk to you about something that um, I think applies to a lot of us when it comes to being an autoimmune patient, being a Lyme patient, and while it seems maybe a little bit superficial, I think there's more to it. And so I am going to do two things. I'm going to talk to you about why I put on my face every morning. And also, and this is me without foundation-y things. Um, you won't see me without mascara, though. Stand by. I'll tell you about that. And the second thing is um, how to do your face in five minutes or less when you are time crunched and just need to, like, get the job done, but you really don't want to leave the house without makeup, but you don't have time, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. So first thing is, you know, I'm an autoimmune patient. I've been sick for years, um, ups and downs. Every day I put on my face. And here's why. Um, when I look in the mirror and I see a sick person, I feel like a sick person. And... Uh, there's nothing wrong with having bad days. As you know, I was in bed for four days in a row, which is maybe the longest stretch of bed days that I've had in uh, four years. But every day I put on makeup, which is maybe a little bit crazy, but maybe not. And the thing is, when I can look and I see a face that looks like the face of a healthy person or a normal person it helps me function a little bit better. When I look in the mirror and I see a sick person, I feel more like a sick person. And I know it's kind of this controversial topic, you know, when your friends say, but you look fine, you know, you look good, you look healthy, I don't, I don't understand why you feel bad, and then they're offended because, um, you know, they want the credibility of being sick. They want people to acknowledge, hey, I understand that you don't feel well. I for some reason never really l liked somebody to say, oh, you look terrible. Maybe it's my, you know, my very fragile ego. I don't know. But I don't want to look like a sick person. I don't ever want to look like a sick person. And, you know, my labs speak for themselves. They're crappy sometimes, and, and that's enough. But I want to look like a healthy person because I think it helps me live more like a healthy person when I look like a healthy person. So everyday makeup, everyday makeup. My husband, I don't think, has ever seen me without mascara. I, I know that might be a little strange um, to some people, but no, everyday mascara. 100% if there's other things missing, there's mascara. When I go to the ER because I have something wrong a few times in this journey, makeup. If I am having a baby, makeup. Um, if I am in labor at four in the morning because my water broke, makeup. I, I will put on a face before I go to the hospital. And I have the photos of me in labor to prove that to you. Anyway, I like to have my face on. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel human and alive. And if I don't have color, then I put the color on. So how do I do that and not feel great all the time and get three kids to school on time or wherever they need to be? It's hard. I get it. Like some people say, I don't even mess with makeup. I don't have time. We're running around in the morning. So I want to show you in five minutes or less how I put on my face. And now that you know why it's important to me and my neighbors joke with me, my friends are in here like, do we ever not see you with a full face of freaking makeup at 8 a.m.? And I'm like, no, you don't. And you won't. You won't because I don't leave the house without my face on. Um, but I don't take long to do it. I, I will not be primping for, you know, an hour before I take the kids to school. That's crazy. I mean, who can do that? Nobody can do that. Where's the nanny? No nanny. Um, all right. So how do I do that? I start with this one first. This is Beauty Counter Tint Skin. This is their full coverage foundation, uh, which people like me might need because I'm turning 
in a couple months. And so, yeah, so I like a full coverage. They also have Dew Skin, which is their tinted moisturizer. So for you young ladies who don't need a lot of coverage, the Dew Skin may be just absolutely perfect for you. Um, so I just slap this on. I am not a makeup artist by any means, so I like to do things all wrong, but basically I just use this as a full coverage, and I couldn't find my concealer pin because I got a little friend down there. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little of that, and that'll work. So there is the tint skin, and already I feel like my skin is more even and um, presentable to the world. Okay, how long did that take? Like. 15 seconds, 30. All right, next up is I use the Tawny Whisper um, in the Blush Duo. That's Beauty Counter as well. I just use this little, is it Kabuki, Kabuki, Kabuki brush. Sorry if I mispronounced that and offended anybody. Um, slap some of that on. Alternatively, you can use the cream blusher, this is the Color Pinch in Hibiscus, which I also love. Looks like that. And it looks kind of like um, intimidating going on, but I mean, that's a good look right there. Why not just join the world? Okay, so you could do that. And see, already I'm alive. Even if I don't feel like I'm alive on certain days, you get a little color. It just makes everything better. Okay. Mascaras. These are in my mascara showdown. These are all my favorites. We've got Crunchy. We've got 100% Pure. And we've got Beauty Counter. And I like them all. I really do. Um, they're all in my makeup bag. And what goes on in the morning probably depends on which one I pull out first, honestly. And I usually layer two of them just to get a more optimal look. Next step, eyeliner. This is always on, always on. This is, um, I think, what makes the look way better than just mascara alone. I go in the waterline. This is 100% pure. Um, and this is the one that's part of my promotion right now. So make sure you take advantage of that. Beauty Counter does not have an eyeliner at this time. They will at some point. 100% pure. I'm giving this away for free right now. Go look. Next step and final step most days is a little gloss. I usually go neutral. This is the Beauty Counter lip gloss, which I love, in opal. It's just neutral. It's just a little shiny. Um, not a lot to it. So that's my whole face. It, it's not time consuming. Um, it's not a lot of products. I have what that was foundation, blush, eyeliner, mascara, lip gloss. Here's your optional. This is the Lustro oil. It just gives you a little shimmer if you like that dewy kind of look. Um, I love it. I use it sometimes more for evening. It just depends. Um, but for my five minute face to go from um, hot mess to not so hot mess, this is what I'm using. So it's, it's not a lot. It's not super time consuming. Throw it on, face the day. And if y'all have questions about better skincare, reach out to me. Really, I'll help you navigate I am not loyal to just one brand. I am, um, I love Beauty Counter. I love 100% Pure. I love Crunchy. Those are my top three. And I can help you pick products from any of those. The reason I started doing some of this mixed with recipes is because it doesn't make any sense. I mean, really, truly and honestly, it does not make any sense to be completely devoted to clean eating if you're still putting crap on your body. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that it, it's important. It's important for me to share that message too. Because anytime you see an artificial fragrance in anything, when you see perfume, 
when you see anything that's artificial in terms of fragrance, you are disrupting your endocrine system um, or potentially disrupting your endocrine system. And with all of our autoimmune issues and Lyme and bacteria, fungus, viral infections, we cannot afford to be disrupting our endocrine system. And we can't afford to do that with our kids either. Um, so that is why I have incorporated all of this and it's important to me and it's not to be salesy. Honestly, I just think that we need to be responsible and if we want our utmost health um, to be secured, then we have to consider all those things. So that is that. Let me know what you need help with. I'm here for you. Five minute face. It's all you need. Sugar. See y'all soon. Bye.